What? Traitor? Well, who is it? Well, it's not me, no way. It's probably a joke. Probably. Rowan Fighter did say something odd, though. That Rowan was the true Setsugetsuka. What does that mean? Mm. Hmm. Kusetsu-san! Sorry about storming out like that. Come on, Kusetsu-san, you had us worried there. Where did you disappear to? Oh, I just had something on my mind. On your mind? I needed to get myself ready for this. Think you can fight me, even just one time. Gosetsu-san, what are you saying? Uh, yeah, what, what's this about? Didn't you retire a long time ago? Yeah. No, I ran. So but I feel like, well, if I win this fight, <laughs> I might be able to settle things for good. Okay then. I don't understand what this is about, but I'll do it. No lose intended. Kusetsu san is fighting? I won't back down, Yuki. It's been a rather eventful video today, even though it's actually our first fight, uh, full fight, I guess, of the video, but... Let's go ahead and take on Gosetsu here. I'm not entirely sure what they mean by a traitor. Uh, but I guess we'll find out. It kind of makes it imply like they want to... The story wants you to think Gosetsu-san is the traitor, but... Does that even make sense? Um... Uh, Let's just go into Lisana here and pass turn. You can see now that Gosetsu actually plays Flagberg. Which is interesting. I don't know if it's fitting for him per se, but... Uh, it is a very strong deck, so I guess that makes sense. Um, very, very hard. <laughs> We're gonna figure out how to play against Flagberg. Uh, Flagberg is a deck that can do multi-attacks and restand your units, but they have a very strong Vanguard skill in that they can retire. Two of your units, your opponent's units, and also make it so your opponent requires three or more cards to guard the Vanguard swing. So typically what you want to do is just take all the other attacks and um, end up, or rather guard all your other attacks I should say, sorry, and then end up just taking the Vanguard swing because it's too much of an investment to guard um, when they can either break over it <laughs> with some triggers or not and you just, you know, Wasted so many cards just to guard uh, one damage, because he doesn't get a crit himself. But, we can try to mitigate that by rushing them down here, because they uh, can't do too much to us until grade 3, and typically not even until their second grade 3 turn, just because their main combo plays revolve around the Inlet Pulse Dragon, which uh, their main combo enabler is the in a pulse dragon, at least the most cost effective one. And they can only use that if I have a great 3 vanguard. So, we might be able to sweep by here. Um, I unfortunately don't know what to do here. I guess I can try and guard this. And maybe take the inroad shooter attack. Uh, I can also. Um. Play Ecclesia in the back? Um, and keep Fasado in the front? Because Fasado can't be targeted by effects, so he's not gonna get retired, so he'll stay out consistently, which is kind of useful. First, discard our draw trigger here to ride into 
Graham Grace. What is it? Knight Saint Sword Saint Knight Dragon Graham Grace. Uh, let's go ahead and use the skill here to counter last one. Soul Blast one and draw one card. Then choose one card from her hand and play it in the back row. Rear guard circle. Interesting. Uh, I think I'll still pick Alicia. And uh, what we can do here is make it so that we only end up losing our Marin, which I would rather not happen, but it is better than nothing. Let's just go ahead and see if we can um, do as much damage as we can here. Yeah, they are going to intercept with the inroad shooter, which is good, because that gets rid of the inroad shooter. Uh, let's go ahead and swing in here for 13. We're going to take this. If I can check, like, if I had checked, like, crit over trigger, I, I could definitely win, but... Right now, uh, we're definitely going to go into the next turn, which is going to be a little bit scary. I think they only have one damage, which means I should be able to get through this uh, relatively scot-free, but we'll see. I also have the Persona Ride for next turn, as well as a Gerald and a Painkiller if I can keep her. Let's go ahead and swing in here. The only bad thing is that I can't... Uh, I, I do lose out to Blue Aggress Dragon. If they play that, because um, I can't like intercept or anything like that, and they can attack into rears, and I also can't uh, intercept their smaller attacks because all I have is the facados out. But um, that's fine. Let's go ahead and swing in here, possibly for game. I highly doubt it, but maybe. All right, yeah. Now they're gonna have a heal trigger that they're gonna give up, understandably so. I was hoping they would be forced to give one of their pieces, but that's not going to happen. We're actually going to get another Persona ride, which is fine. So we're probably going to have to unfortunately give up, I think, Gerald and Painkiller. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Let's see if they got the Inlet Pulse. Yeah, they do. Oh, uh, and they got this thing also, the Shelling Dragon. Yikes. I don't know if we can make it past this. Um... I think, let's take the first attack here. See if it makes our life a little easier. It does not. It makes us lose a PG that we could have uh, wanted to use here, but all right. At the very least, this Ascendant Assault is not in any way threatening because it can't do any damage to anything on board. So that's good, at least. And what we can do here is we can give up the Gerald because the Painkiller is Slightly more useful because we can use her to boost. We're gonna take this attack because it is not gonna do any damage to us. Thankfully, they are gonna attack with the Vanguard first, so there's a chance that we can no guard this. Uh, maybe check some triggers to protect ourselves from the shelling cannon, but we'll see. So we're just gonna no guard this because the best we can do is. Uh, Painkiller to guard. They're gonna get the crit and then power up the shelling cannon. Um, Alright, they didn't check another crit. So. We're still in danger, actually, now that I think about it. Um, unless we get something here. Okay, that'll definitely do it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put the over trigger there. Yeah, because this still would have stung in for 33 and we would have been at uh, 4 damage. Actually, no, we would've been fine. Yeah, we would've been at 4 damage, and then we are pushed to 5, okay. I don't know why I thought we were gonna get pushed further than that. Uh, I would rather you not do that, but I don't really have the capability to guard Fasado, so we're just gonna have to eat that. It's cool that Shelling County has his own somewhat unique attack um, animation, because I haven't seen that on any other unit just yet. Uh, I guess we can declare final turn, and we do have a small advantage here. And that we do have the Persona Ride, they are at 5 damage, but we did check a crit. Um, so they do have at least that to guard with that we know of. But let's go ahead and Persona Ride, use Graham Grace's skill here. Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, draw 1 card. Um, I guess we will play this Painkiller out. And I think we just go big here. Because there's no way I survive another one of these attacks. Uh, I guess I could have put the Graham Grace out, honestly, but it's fine. Let's go ahead and swing in here. 
Okay. Beat it out. PG. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have said beat it out, but got rid of a PG. We just got a critical trigger that we didn't know, which is good. Actually, gonna get a draw trigger. Okay. Um, I guess let's make this a little threatening. We do have some shield in hand. If we can draw into maybe another trigger. Uh, there's a small chance we can survive another turn, but we'll see. Uh, I think our next weakest attack is this one, because this is oh, what? 30, 41? Yeah, so our next weakest attack is this. Alright, there's the crit that we know of, and yet another critical trigger. Let's go ahead and get through that. Then use Grand Grace's skill here to put Painkill into the soul and draw one card. So, kind of use her skill. And, um, Gerald is actually a little bit stronger. So let's go ahead and attack with the Painkiller Fasado column here. Actually, gonna guard with the Over Trigger. Alright. Um, we will actually end up using Painkiller Skill to Soul Blast out Painkiller. Retire Painkiller and draw one card. Let's go ahead and attack here with our Gerald. Boosted by Painkiller. So you can use the skill of Gerald to get an additional 5k. Getting us at 43. They actually have another PG here. Which is a little scary. Um, they do have themselves one, two, three attacks that they can do in addition to the Vanguard swing. Next turn, um, they play, you know, an Inlet Pulse, a Blue Aggress, many things they can get through it, but let's see. Actually, I'm doing two the Sono Ride! I guess it's no surprise that you call the final turn on Gotetsu and he's like, yeah, no, that ain't happening today, kid. Alright, so they do use the Counter Blast here for the Shelling Dragon, but they're not going to be able to do too much with it, to be honest with you. Um, let's go ahead and guard here. Don't know if they're going to end up using the skill like a dummy. No, they're not a dummy. Alright, I guess Kusetsu's not a dummy. This is going to get retired, so I might as well use him now. Uh, I guess we'll use the Marin as well. We also don't have to worry about the guard restrict, because it's only if he does uh, five or more attacks. This is only going to end up being four. So we'll go ahead and guard this as well. And then here comes the big one. Yeah, because only if you have five or more, then he gets 10k and the guard are sick. But we're gonna go ahead and PG's as an attack relatively safely here. Discard a draw trigger that we don't need anymore. Oof, they're gonna heal here, putting them back down to four damage. They weren't able to play any prize tridents, so they don't have any counter blasts. And hit another heal trigger, putting them here at. 3 damage, evening out the score, as well as adding 2 cards in their hand, which is kind of annoying. I might have preemptively <laughs> called out final turn, but... Uh... Alright. Let's see what we can do here. Let's go ahead and Persona Ride! Draw a card, it is unfortunately PG. I mean, not unfortunately, I shouldn't say. Uh, that is nice to see. Let's see if we can actually end up using that. Up actually drawing a critical trigger, so we don't really have the best offensive force right now. We have our twin facados here. Um, I say let's swing in with the vanguard, see what we can get here. Unless we would have gotten quick crit, um, but we are going to get nothing, which is concerning. So. I don't think I can end the game here. And I know they have two heal triggers in hand. Uh, there's yet another prize strider, poor man. So what I can do here is I can get rid of these uh, Ascendance Assaults so they can't use them. And then that way, they might not be able to do too much next turn. Yeah, I'll use a Persona Ride, which is, I guess, fine. Let's create an attack into the other one. Use the skill of Fasado here. Counter charge and soul charge a draw trigger, regretfully. And then we can push you to 5 safely now with Ecclesia. 
Not to mention Ecclesia will go into Soul, so they won't be able to retire anything. Not that it matters too much. Alright, they're gonna get a spiritual body that they're gonna lose. Let's go ahead and use Grand Grace's skill to put Ecclesia into the Soul. Oh, a critical trigger, so we should be fine here. No push on the ride. Just call the Blue Aggress Dragons. Fair enough. So the Blue Aggress Dragons have to attack into units. They can restand, so he is going to be able to get a fudge ton of attacks here. This, unfortunately, doesn't actually hit, though. But they're just going to have to waste all of these attacks here. Um, because none of them can hit, since he didn't have a Persona Ride, and he didn't play any order or anything to power up his units. So he's gonna swing in to get the attacks in, which means they are gonna have five attacks. Which is mildly concerning. Because now, they have the Guard Restrict. Um, Alright, let's do this. This and this. We do still, unfortunately, have to use the skill of RPG here to discard. So, as long as they don't check double crit, we should be fine here. But they don't. They actually hit a draw trigger. This is actually going to be prolonged way longer than I thought. But, they're not going to be able to do anything next turn other than just swing with the Vanguard um, from the looks of things. I think we just take this. Because they have no soul, no counter blast. Plenty of cards in hand, regretfully. Right. Let's see what we can do. Uh, I might have to throw down a critical trigger. I don't get anything good here. I can't recall final turn right yeah, now. Uh, I really thought I had him there, but all right, should have known because Zatsu-san wouldn't be put down so easily. Let's go ahead and use Graham Grace's skill here, see if we can dig for something useful. I actually end up getting dick, uh, decked out here. I almost said dicked out. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and play this here. They are still at 5 damage, uh, so we can still try and get it in 5 attacks. Um, let's go ahead and swing in here. We're going to guard with the heal trigger. They still have a heal trigger and a uh, draw trigger in hand, as well as, I believe, a PG. So I really doubt we're going to be able to end the game here. And like I said, there's really no point in attacking his units, because they're kind of useless. He is going to be able to get four attacks, but there's going to be nothing to retire. So going to swing in again with Fasano. I'm going to intercept here. It's fine. Uh, as mentioned, those units don't do anything for him at the moment. I'm actually going to use a Blue Rest Dragon from hand here this time around. Alright, let's go ahead and put that into our soul and draw one card. Our next turn is going to be our last, whether or not we win. Um, we're going to do four attacks here. Yikes. Alright, uh, I don't have to guard. Make sure you always do that if you are playing in, uh, like, online or anything like that, because people will just <laughs> sometimes get lost in thought and, you know, guard when they don't need to. Um, I'm not even going to be able to use our skill next turn, because we're going to draw a card and then draw another card, and then check twice and then draw another card. So all we can do here is uh, do a... That's a two to pass. Um, that's a little too to pass. Let's just do a overdrugger to pass here, which I believe is already out of the game. Oh, la, la, la. <laughs> the skill of all times. Oh, God. All right. We're, we're okay. We put it all all right, because uh, this thing can't attack. Okay, so we're good here. Scared the bejesus out of me. Yeah, because he has to counter blast one for the shelling cannon to attack. Ugh. We might actually end up getting decked out here. I don't know if it's worth using the skill. Um, no matter what, we end up losing. So let's just do what we can here. To make this as 
threatening an attack as possible, because uh, we just end up losing next turn no matter what here. As long as we don't hit another draw trigger, so maybe we should... I think I play like four draw triggers. Uh, we got one draw trigger, two draw trigger, three draw trigger. I might actually hit a draw trigger. Unless I have one in damage, I do not. Um, do I have one in my soul? Yes, I do. Okay, so I won't hit a draw trigger. I don't know if I have any triggers left. Um, let's go attack this first. Make him guard. We are unfortunately just going to do a two to pass. We'll draw into Ecclesia. And an actual heal trigger. Alright, that might actually put this toward our favor, I hope. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, let's put this into the soul. And we'll actually give the 2k here to make this 8k, so this hits a nice 21k. But of course you can just double intercept this attack. I'm just gonna use the draw trigger and then intercept. Or not double intercept, but, you know, use the intercept is what I mean. And our last attack here, our last shot. Ah, oh, they got the double guard. Ah, oh, I can't believe we actually lost a deck out. <laughs> Whatever, let's just go out on our own terms here. Because no matter what happens, Gozatsu-san, even if he passes turn or not, we lose. Because we're forced to draw for our next turn. And uh, after that, uh, if you have no cards in your deck at any point, you lose. So that was a, that was a really good match. I just wish I didn't lose. Arc enemy spotted. You still want to do this? Fine. Time to taste your dessert. You still want to do this? Fine. Time to taste you. <laughs> you still want to do this? Fine. Time to teach you the taste of defeat. <laughs> Where's all this coming from? Uh, sure, okay. If it's a fight you want, I won't back down. <laughs> I kind of wanted to just skip through this fight, because we've pretty much already done it. I didn't expect Kuro to do anything differently, to be honest. Um, but I honestly don't remember. I fought Kuro on hard a couple of times in the free fights, like, you know, outside of the story mode. Uh, so that's why I'm not too sure if this is any different from when we just faced him. Because they all kind of seem like the same deck to me, but... Uh, he is using this, which is interesting. But I mean, last time he had a Lalarita, which I think his, like, this level deck has. But he has, like, uh, Tartine, and he has, uh, Kakarone, but I, I think it's the same deck. I'll say this much, it is definitely a lot harder so far, because they have me at 4 damage already. Well, uh, they just took one damage. Alright, they're gonna put a crit on top. Thankfully, I took out the, um... Ugh, I might have to double guard here. Because they can very easily put all the power, put 20k on the, uh... The uh, back row there. Give yourself the power and then... Alright, they can give themselves a the power, but then they can use Hexer skill to give power to the booster. But they're gonna be dumb. And give it to the Tartine. So I kinda wasted a card by giving them the benefit of this out. Because <laughs> they could have very easily turned this 41 here into 63. Uh, and that would have actually broken through and we would have lost the game. Um, but instead they decided to give the power all to this rear guard. That's like the biggest like thing with Hex Orb, like, like how she cheats is that she can put power on her booster even though she can't put power on herself. But the booster can get power, so it's basically like she's getting power. So she's very, very hard to guard. Um, but, oh well. My opponent's not gonna make use of it, but tough cookies for them. So I Persona Ride, I really lost two of my Persona Rides because I had to discard one for Ride and then I had to discard one to use a PG to not lose the game <laughs> on their first grade 3 attack, and that's when they pushed me 
super hard. Let's go out Calicia here. Uh, these guys will have the same amount of power. Uh, between Gerald and Marin, and Marin and uh, Arthen, because they both get plus five, so that's fine. So let's leave that at that. So we're attacking 23. It did, unfortunately, as well as you saw, draw into our over trigger, so that's out of the game. They checked over trigger on turn two, <laughs> which is why I couldn't do any damage for a long while. Oh my fucking god. This man is just obliterating me. How the hell am I supposed to guard? Fucking. 58k over here. Oh, they could have very easily put both triggers here and just wipe me out here. But like, nah, we're gonna make you waste three cards. Also, now guard 38 <laughs> or 58, three damage. Good God, I have to heal twice to make it out of this. Just deal with them having two triggers in hand. Oh my God, I actually got one. <laughs> I don't believe this. Alright, just one more since over trigger is out. Come on. One more heal trigger. No. Uh, it wasn't supposed to go like this. A maestro of consecutive losses. Seriously, why did you get so worked up about challenging me? Isn't about time you spoke to me, considering how many times we've fought? Huh? Who would ever conspire with the likes of you? Let's go, Haru. Pride comes before a fall. Hey, you! Hmm? Oh, she's from Team Rekna. Haru, I think. Didn't that team of yours disband? Lotus, was it? No, it's Team Rekna. Get it right. So was you right. You really wrecked our team the other day. Do you remember that? Come on, say something. Uh, even a, a cornered rat will bite. What are you even trying to say? Oh no, I have to save her. Hey, you guys knock it up. Back, you small fry. Kuda. Gather vermins. Bring it on, all of you! It's time to fight! Ugh, I'll remember this. <laughs> what a joke. You don't need to hold back against the likes of them. Just blow them away. A narrow escape. Ah, so you actually have a cool side to you. You! Ugh, I can't believe I allowed you to see that. <laughs> You do more than just tag along with her. You protect her too. Haru, Haru is easily misunderstood. Mm. It's difficult for her to say how she really feels. That's all. A place where you only need strength to be recognized, not words. That's the kind of environment she needs. It's something I need too. Mm. Hm. So that's why you joined Team Rekna. Hm. Victory is all Mika believes in, and I'm happy with that. No collusion, just victory. Haru can be herself if she aims for that. Mm. Battle tendency. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you find a place like that. So, yeah, enough talk. Let's go, Haru. Hmm? <laughs> My gratitude. <laughs> there you go. That was nice. Damage to <sighs> Man, Gusetsu is no joke. I went back to the MLB deck just to try and uh, rush him, see if that'll work. And it kind of did, but it still was a really long match. We had 12 turns. I almost got decked out yet again, but we managed to finally beat Gusetsu here. <sighs> Guess I couldn't make it after all. Masaru. Do you remember what you said, Masaru? Mm. That I was the one to create Setsugetsu go? Uh, yes, I do. After all, you... Suma. There was someone else, too. Sona. It can't be. Ka. 
Kanji. That's right. Kanji. Kanji, are you kidding me? He was one of Setsugetsuka's founders? Ah. Kanji and I uh, have been close friends from childhood. Mm. We used to go to the park you guys like to visit and fight until it gets dark. Sold. How long ago was it? <laughs> we made a promise one day to make an undefeatable mighty team. Sonna. The team was... Ah. Uh, that's right. We lived up to the promise and founded Setsugetsuka. <laughs> he was always number one at everything. Studying, sports, even vanguard. Uh, Kinda like you, sis. So that's right. He refused to lose to anyone. Maybe that's why he turned out that way. He kept pursuing strength uh, until he ended up as someone who'd do anything to win. <sighs> From there... Now, he wants to rule over all Vanguard. I want to stop him, you know. But it got to a point where I couldn't. As shameful as it is to admit, that's when I started being afraid of him. Is that why you have retired? It's a nice way to put it. If you ask him, what I did was no different from running. So that's what he meant. That's why he said Rowan is the true Satsugetsuka. So the traitor they were talking about is... Me. But I always wanted to give Kanji a taste of defeat, even if it was just once. I wanted to teach him what it means to lose, and how important your losses are. I regret not being able to do that to this day. You want to know the real reason I made this store? It wasn't because I wanted to take a step back and watch over other yeah. fighters. No. I guess that was part of it, but the real reason was... You wanted to find someone who could defeat Kanji. That's what it was, wasn't uh. it? That's right. Oh, no. Th this might be going too far, but... Uh. If my sister had never lost what you said about Kanji-san... I think it's possible she could have gone down the same path. Rasen. My plan was that if I won this fight, I'd stop Kanji myself. But if you won... Please, Yuki. Won't you stop him for me? Won't you beat Kanji? If he loses to you, I'm sure that he'll... I'm sorry, Gusatsu-san. But I made a decision. That I won't ever do something like that again. Kanji told me something during our fight. He said that I only exist in order for others to ask things of me. And so, that's why I've decided to be someone who can ask for help, not just give it. <laughs> I see. So, that's why I want to show my own vanguard to the one who made me realize that. If you're in a vanguard fight in order to protect someone, you can't lose. <laughs> Isn't that right? Thank you. That's nice. Uh, we got Trigger happy. Uh, we're also going to get ourselves Kotetsu Sanzek, as well as a Graham Grace, which we already have copies of, as you can tell by the fact that we've been using it. Let's just take a look at this D skill here. This is... Trigger happy, increase the chance you get a trigger in your drive check and damage check. So it just triggers, period. So the ultimate, um, whatchamacallit, <laughs> the ultimate D skill. But all right, next time, I think will probably be the last episode of this. So, uh, look forward to that. But till then, take care of yourself, play Vanguard, and have yourself a damn good one.